Hi everybody, with um, sound it's better. Okay, so we are back for our, <clears throat> well we had actually um, planned on doing this bi-weekly, but since um, this first week was kind of important, um, we figured we'd do it this Sunday and then um, we'll see when we can do the next one. I think um, Michael is here actually. Hi Michael. Hello. And Philip is also Hi, lurking everybody. in the background somewhere. Uh, wait, let me let me do the split screen now. You, now they can see you. Uh, Philip, Hello, everybody. Yeah, hi. So uh, um, you guys are, um, I think, um, taking a business trip or something soon. So we gotta see when we can get you on for updates. Um, but essentially, we wanted to do this every two weeks Sundays. That was the the basic plan. Of course, we can like. Um, uh, do it differently if we need to, but uh, that that is at least the plan. So uh, it's been a crazy week, actually. <laughs> we um, we finished the campaign, and um, I think today is the last day when Kickstarter is uh, collecting money from backers, and there's still a few that haven't paid um, or that they, they ran into trouble with their uh, payment. Um, information or something and Kickstarter is, uh, is trying to uh, resolve that but I believe today is the last day so come tomorrow um, we will have a small list of so-called dropped backers and we will um, contact them personally by email and see to sort that out um, but it's it's looking good compared to like other uh, projects we didn't have that many um, and with that, we actually have pretty good news on the uh, front of um, the after uh, pre-order sale for uh, PayPal because that's still open on our website and, and will be for a few more weeks. Um, and we're now less than 2K away from our ultimate goal. So as you can see, when we uh, last Sunday, I think we were roughly 4K away. So. Um, we um, we're really getting close and I believe we can do this so orchestra <laughs> let's do it and um, yeah um, Patrick can't join us today because it's actually his birthday so happy birthday Patrick and <laughs> and um, but he sends his greetings obviously and he's ha having a good birthday party I hope, and uh, I should have I should have prepared a little birthday song in the background or something. But actually, I think it's copyrighted, so you can't even like just play it. Um, uh, yeah. So with that, maybe we'll um, play some music. Actually, I'm gonna play a little bit of something that I delivered earlier this morning, which was the uh, stereo set. The um, the final mix master of um, our stereo sit recording and um, let's play that here for a moment where is it and uh, you should have gotten um, an email about it or if you go to the um, updates page on Kickstarter it's for backers only obviously um, but you should be able to find it and download it and um, Enjoy it, and here's a, a small selection of it. Hope it works.
thing because this was supposed to be for backers. And um, I see in the chat room, hi everybody for joining us. Um, I see that um, some people have problems connecting to Twitch. Maybe they are overtaxed today. Uh, it looks fine on my end. There's no dropped frames or anything. And uh, we will, I mean, we. I am also recording this um, in the background uh, on my desktop so I can actually upload it to YouTube and then share it again um, after the show uh, just in case Twitch is not cooperating at all which it looks like right now um, but yeah so um, let's I think let's move on to um, more news and updates so we actually worked on two pieces right yeah three actually but two are right. ready yeah yeah so um you you have actually uh, something prepared and uh, so let's talk about that we um the surprise for this show is that we uh, have uh, r type basically ready for our um preview backers and also the um the score of r type for the proofreaders Maybe you want to talk about it a little bit. Oh yes. Yeah. So so first of all, uh, we've done some corrections on the Christmas theme. Oh yeah. So some of the proofreaders and the other backers they sent us some feedback about something that to change, and this is going to be sent to the proofreaders. And yeah, the other one that I worked and I don't know if you can see my camera right now. Yeah. Is this one here? This is R type. So this is my first print out of it, and I. Uh, you can see I still Looks did was some quite some work, yeah. <laughs> notes there, there are some really nice runs. Look at this one here. Ooh, this looks nice. But it's not as hard as it looks like. So yeah, it's some it's, it's become some pages, I think six or seven pages already. So all our proofreaders are going to get this whole thing. Okay. And um, yeah, right now I'm already working on the great path. Chris, maybe you can show them my screen here yeah yeah so that. can everyone see this uh, wait there I switched over and then let's make this bigger there's the great bath yeah maybe I'll play a little bit of it in the background there from the, the preview if I can find it Can this be seen already? Yeah. Okay, so the beginning looks quite nice already and I, I've been moving on until this point where it still looks a little bit messy here. You can see there are a lot of, of sharps and, and, and even double sharps and this is a, some tricky stuff here and I know nearly everyone always is just like get, getting annoyed when you do you see this double sharps like this here but um, yeah if you do this in a different way like this I mean the whole thing doesn't look yeah unfortunately much the fast. screen froze there okay yeah oh, I no. see it I see it you yeah, see the double sharps are so bad that even the screen is freezing <laughs> so this is something that I'm still working on uh, stuff like this little things here on the on the thumb that it, it's better some better readability here that have a second voice in here yeah. stuff like this and, and yeah and you can see the further it goes the, the more messy it is at the moment doesn't look quite nice but the beginning I think is looking promising already. Yeah, this so, looks uh, nice. always watch out when we are when we are changing here to base and changing back, I know that many people over oversee this. So yes, that's all right. right now. And I think in one or two days that the great path will be ready too. So lucky people who are proofreaders and can get the scores in advance and and talk with us about it and make suggestions about yeah. better readability or things that change or stuff like this. 
Uh, we should also have some um, uh, beginners versions relatively soon. I'm gonna start working on those as well. Yeah, the beginner versions are, of course, much easier to to handle than than the big ones here. Yeah, yeah. But I would like to have like a, an example also for the proofreaders to see the difference in the in the difficulty level and stuff like that. So we're yeah. gonna probably do that pretty soon as well. And we have other um, surprises um, planned for the next two weeks. So stay tuned. By the way, um, when we're talking about um, the, the the next two weeks, um, even though we might not be um, online for updates here, um, we are still doing our um, our uh, retro let's plays um, with Autumn. By the way, your camera is off right now. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so retro spielen <laughs> with, with uh, Audi and Chris is um, we, we did actually two last week which was a little bit much so this week we're gonna go to one once a week um, and we played uh, Madness and R-Type uh, last week and the um, these shows are also archived so you can uh, watch them later and we will also upload them to YouTube and the next one is planned for Friday end of this week again uh, nine, um, 9 o'clock German time at, at night and um, we're gonna play Jim Power the Amiga version and uh, uh, Auden said that uh, he he's good playing that so we will see by the way I don't know if he's even like online lurking there um, I don't know so no trailer mode this mode this time for him yeah he doesn't see <laughs> He doesn't seem to be in the chat right now, but um, yeah, anyway. Um, so that's going to happen Friday. And uh, right after this show, I will prepare another download package for you guys. And then there's more planned. And oh, there you are. Okay, let me see. Now I can see you. <laughs> So uh, let's play some more music. In fact, um, we're talking about um, these retro let's plays. Maybe we'll play a little bit of original sound version stuff here in the background. Uh, let's do the Amiga theme again. Since we are today talking mostly about our type. So, if I don't look in the camera today, this is not because I'm impolite or something, but I put the chat to the other monitor now and it's even better for you so that I'm not staring all the time at the camera because some people may get stared when somebody is staring all the right. time. I also have the uh, chat to the side here. So, yeah, that the, um, so chat room, did the uh, stream improve? Well, it's working on my side now. So somebody there said six sharps are hard to play, not hard to read. Well, I mean, yeah, the, the, the advanced versions, the ones that uh, Patrick is playing on, on the album, they are obviously a little bit more, you know, harder to learn, but uh, we think that it's still, it's still very possible. Uh, and if not, then you always have, like, the beginner version to fall back on. And maybe later when there are coming up questions about the playability of some of the parts, maybe we can shoot one or two videos to, to talk about single parts and just tips how to play them. That, that's actually a good idea. I think um, we, we talked about it also that we're not... Did, I don't know if we talked about it, but um, you said that you didn't want to uh, mess up the score with uh, pedal marks. So we're going to do like a general Ooh, tutorial yeah. on pedaling. Yeah, it's good that you talk about this because uh, the proofreaders will see that I added all the pedals in, into our type. Is it our type that I added the pedals? Let me see, yeah. So, um, oh, in that case you did? Yeah, I did, and I didn't do it in the Christmas theme right now.
so this is something for discussion too because it, um, usually in pop music you just use the pedal how, how you like it to do it but um, there are some parts where you clearly need to do something special with the pedal so yeah good question how we are going to handle this because um, yeah, as Chris as you said when you when you fill it up with the pedal it's just um, yeah. too much stuff to read it's, it's not so so comfortable at all. I think like in 90% of the cases it's a pedal right after start of a, a measure and then um, um, you know releasing it before the next measure or change yeah. and then that's pretty usual um, so I don't know if we really need to do it maybe in some special cases if there's an arrangement that really calls for it but it's up for discussion definitely. I mean, there are other parts where uh, well, we definitely will need some discussion. Let me see if I find this final page here. And then, so, um, uh, then one, this. One, one guy in the chat room says if pedals are used, print them at least in the pro version. Well, I mean, no. what, yeah, maybe not in the beginner version. Yeah. We'll see. I, I mean, there are other things like if you can see the final bar, see here some point where. Where you know you have the pedal starting here, and obviously the chord needs to be held to the end. So, but um, during this chord, there's a line going up here, and um, yeah. yeah, people have to see that. Of course, they release their fingers here, but go up with both hands like like ever they want to. So, we have to see how we how we write this down the best way. So maybe you do a little some little questions at the end of the book for some parts or something. And then we're, we're actually just talking about the uh, sustain pedal. So um, as far as I know, Patrick has not used other pedals. Because somebody also asked, what's the function of the pedals? Well, um, case of the sustain pedal, it, it holds a note. Um, so maybe I can show this here quick. Uh, let me see. I have a piano sound here. Can you hear that? Oh, it's not going on the stream, I guess. Or maybe this. Yeah, you should be able to hear that. Okay, anyway, when I when I hit a note and I release the key, then it, it stops. But if I press that pedal, which is the su sustain pedal, then the note holds. And that means you can like um, you can use your fingers to play other keys while while the one key is holding. So uh, you hear the effect. So that's for the for the people who don't know how um, how the piano pedals work. And uh, usually you want to um, during the course of the piece, if you have uh, changes of um, um, harmonies or, or chords or stuff like that, um, then it becomes too much if you keep the pedal pressed all the time. Um, so. Uh, a good piano player um, knows when to release the pedal and press it um, to get the, the full effect of it without yeah. being sounding too muddy. And of course there's also a difference between playing on an electric piano and on a real piano because on, an, on most of the electric pianos the pedal is only on off and um, on a real piano there's something like like hitting the gas in your car you know it's 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 going in between between yeah, full and 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 uh, there are steps between it. So um, yeah, not so easy to play on a real piano. Yeah, you want yeah. to make it. I mean, and we so. could we could go into much more detail about how this works, but I think that's um, that's too much. <laughs> anyway, yeah. let's play some more music here. Um, yeah, what should we play next? Maybe we'll play a little bit of Jim Power in anticipation of uh, end of week's uh, retro spielen. And um, yeah, let's play a little bit here.
and we're back. And um, yeah, so that's uh, Jim Power. Um, little preview in the background, and um, we're playing Jim Power Friday, 9 p.m., uh, 21 hours in Germany uh, on this channel, and hopefully it works a little bit better then. And yeah. So with that, I think I'll um, maybe let Philip talk a little bit about our um, still open PayPal options. Philip, are you there? Hi, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So um, still on your homepage, um, hulzbeck.com, you can find uh, the piano collection button where you can have an overview and you can check your possibilities of backing this project. Because there are still some great packages and possibilities. So, for example, we have still four of the 30 piano scarves remaining. And the thing about the piano scarves is that they are numbered exactly like the CD, the double vinyl and the scorebook. So you get a numbered and signed, let's say, stitched in signed piano scarf with your number and uh, there will be a meeting or several meetings um, propose um, proposals for Gamescom where you can meet up with Chris and the team and the piano scarf uh, guys let's say and take photos and, and it's stuff, a, yeah. exactly it's a good opportunity so and uh, also a very good opportunity because I'm a very big fan of the top 10 level uh, top 10 level uh, packages. The number 006 uh, was still vacant at the end and still it is. So we can implement this soon also on the same um, web page of Chris. So you soon will be able for $699 to get the 006 package, um, which include includes everything, included the piano dinner with a guest. Um, on a table uh, with Chris and the team. And the special thing about the piano dinner that not only backers can go there, you also have the um, chance, if you are a fan of retro music, of Chris Hülsberg, of the works, and not only of the piano, you still can join the piano uh, dinner because it's a very good opportunity to have a great kickoff at Gamescom 215. This will be at August 4th at 6 p.m. in the evening and will be like open end. We are expecting about, let's say, 100 people there in a very big and nice fancy place, location, restaurant with, with yeah, some, it's a great venue, I can say. And yeah, it's a good possibility. We have a three, uh, three course menu, like Mediterranean, Italian menu, a good, good, a very good menu. And of course, very nice music because uh, Patrick Nevian will play the piano. Happy birthday from my side to Patrick. It says birthday today. I, I think he get, he turned 35. Good age, good age. And yeah, you will you will um, have the possibility. So um, take a look at this. Uh, uh, um, yeah, pledges that are still available and get yours now. So uh, the first entry level for the piano scarf, for example, including um, yeah the the CD album and the scorebook limited edition scorebook will be 249, and then we have three left for 349, which then includes also um, yeah a number between 011 and 015 limited edition scorebook and the 006. So go for it. And very important. If you have like um, a smaller pledge level, you can also still upgrade your level also via PayPal because we are around $2,000 uh, from our next stretch goals, with, which at 80K means that Chris, Michael and me, we will do um, yeah, a trip to, uh, yeah, to make the live recordings with orchestra and you can uh, yeah, enjoy one of Chris famous pieces that will be like chosen together with the fans and Chris and the team and then this will be a very good opportunity so yeah still the project isn't over it's still working as you see so keep spreading the word and keep upgrading 
great possibilities if you didn't get a ticket so far for the piano dinner. It's all worth the money, you can trust me. One yeah, more, so far from my side. Thanks so much. Um, one more word about the upgrades. Um, one thing that you forgot is that we still have the vinyl. So uh, if you already have pledged um, for a scorebook, you can get the vinyl for 50 bucks actually, and then it will also have the same number and will be signed by the team. So um, that's also a nice upgrade. And, uh, and everything will count towards our goal. So I think we can make this really happen because um, as I said, the last time we, um, <clears throat> we met it was um, 4,000 away and now it's just 2,000 so um, yeah but enough uh, with the sales stuff um, I think uh, this project is coming nicely along we have a good production schedule I'm updating uh, Michael every couple of days with new pieces and stuff like that and um, uh, Patrick I believe is also preparing to um, record a few more because we have the um, one part of the already reached stretch goals was that we're filling up the CD um, and actually make it larger than your average CD. I mean we're going up to um, I don't know I think normally 70, 72, 73 minutes that you can put on the CD but we will put more on there. We will really squeeze um, everything we have and then um, I'm also composing another piece. I already started a little bit um, to collect some ideas. So one of the one of the bonus pieces will be a new composition. And um, yeah, I think we were right now really good. Um, we have a good start with our production schedule. And um, yeah, we will update you in two weeks or so latest. Uh, in between, there will be probably other little communications and um, we answer your questions we can discuss the um, the proofreading stuff and um, yeah we have plenty to do <laughs> so are there any final words any let's more hear some more music any more questions in the chat room yeah let's play some more music and then um, wrap this up for today. One of my favorites always Jamex, so let's play that. I think Philip likes that one too. I love Jamex, really. Yeah. I love it. I will always. <laughs> wow. Alright, anyway, um, yeah, sorry for the uh, Twitch problems. Apparently that's uh, I will upload this as soon as possible to YouTube uh, from the desktop recorded version so there shouldn't be any hiccups and stuff. So was there any more questions I'm looking at right now? I don't see anything right now, but you can always like ask you ask questions on Kickstarter or send us email, contact us through Anything we can do for you, um, ask for it, please. And with that, I think we're gonna wrap up for today. See you Friday with uh, Autumn on Retro Spiele. And um, I would say, until then, see you good time, everyone. Bye bye, take care, everyone. <laughs>